so you can do a group rate. You can go all day. You can go for an hour. If you're gonna go for an hour, you might as well just go all day. It's only a couple extra bucks. Ooh, little money tournaments on uh, every Tuesday. Good to know. Oh, gotta check out the Nintendo game. It's the first thing I do when I walk in anywhere. Like an Adventure of Link for $19.99. Metroid for... All right, nicely done. I got some controllers down here. Some consoles on the side. More going down. Oh, I see all kinds of Famicom. I see all kinds of Famicom. Ah uh -huh. Here's Rygar for the Famicom. Love that box art. For label art, I guess you'd call it. A wonderful selection of Super Nintendo games as well. I see Super Famicom down here as well, too. Now let's have a look. Uh, let's see what's good. Mushroom City. <laughs> Don Sellers. Don Sellers not only had this game, what else did he have? He had that game. Okay. PlayStation 3. More Genesis. Love me some Genesis. Master System as well. And again, insane to see how many Atari type stuff they have here, here in Tennessee. Which I love seeing, because I mean, it's just something that you don't quite often see at game stores, you know, in the Northwest. A box jungle hunt. That might be just kind of fun to have, just for the sake of having. I love jungle hunt. And some television down there too. Yeah, so fun to see. And then when you turn around, you just see, like not just more games, but like more in the arcade. There's an arcade back there too. We'll check out some of these games that they have here. A selection of PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Wii as well. Let's check out the glass case. Find something fun in here anyway. Now that is interesting. That, I'm sure it's a repro label. <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball, it did, Dragon Ball did come out in the US, but not as Dragon Ball. It's a nice game back here, uh oh. The Kyo's Flying Squadron. Got kind of showed back there too. The uh, Kyo's uh, Flying Squadron there. Sadly that is repro, so it's not oh, original. Come on, man. You break my heart when you say things like that. Yeah. That's why it's in the back corner. Have the original in there. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Just thought I'd ask. Another great game, Mole Mania. Mole Mania from Shigeru Miyamoto. If you don't have Mole Mania yet, other fun stuff. Sure. Let's do some fun things down here. Hmm. Like that pink on that one. More Famicom. I always love to see the Famicom. You can check out some of the pinball machines here too. Oh, I love the uh, alien cabinet here. It's not turned on right now. They might be loading it up for the convention. I mean, come on. Look at this. Got the arcade cabinet set up. The sticks. Stuff on the wall. It's cool to see the stuff on the wall, too. That's kind of a fun thing to see there, too. Love seeing the candy cabs. This look neat. They look fun. Fun setup here, too, if you want to do some multiplayer GoldenEye. Some multiplayer, uh, you know, Mario Kart or something like that. That's all part of the inclusion here when you pay your price to get in. Oh, I remember this game. I haven't, I haven't heard of this game in a while, so you have to like, kind of push and shove the other guy off the uh, screen there, using these crazy uh, joysticks. You ever heard of Irritating Maze? Here's Irritating Maze. Kind of a fun one. You gotta use that trackball to not hit the walls. Fun, they have the VR setup as well. You can play a PlayStation VR. If you're curious about VR, you can actually play one here. Oh, I love Joust. The Joust pinball machine is two-player pinball. It has a little ramp that you have to like, try to get it to the other side with all these things in the way too. What a great idea. Pop and music. <laughs> Love seeing this in real life. What a fun game. This is interesting. Oh, it's a kind of a sunken monitor there. Fun to see. Oh, and here's the uh, rock band as well. That's kind of fun. They got the red tint, the two player red tints. Wow, on this one, a versus play choice. It with different games on both sides. This is just, man, this is what, what a nostalgia overload. They got Power Blade in here? I don't know if they ever had Power Blade. Well, this one has Power Blade, all right. Some Power Blade here. This is, micro, they have micro mages. They have micro mages on a play choice. That's an amazing idea. I gotta hook them up with my game, get some Yeah Yeah Beavis 2 on here, you know? That's kind of a fun game too. These rhythm games, you get to like hit the buttons when they pop up. Yeah, if you're, if you're in town, you can play that one at least for a little bit. Big old long screen, stretch screen, Darius. This is beautiful. This is like Nintendo Row down this way. Versus Slalom, old school Slalom. Oh my God. All right, this, I'm so glad I came here. In Smyrna, Tennessee of all places. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know. It's, if you're like, I never heard of that. No, this is, it's kind of like a, uh, consider it like a mod, right? It's like Donkey Kong, but there's different things going on with it. Oh, uh, see, like like this level. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, thing freaking out, but you know. First we got three, Junior got down the way, versus Castlevania, versus Ice Climber. 
You even got Fix It Felix Jr. down here. Popeye, gorgeous cabinet on Popeye, as well as Mario Brothers. And some more uh, other classics down here, too. Oh, sure. Oh, man, what a great. And again, this is pretty deep as far as this arcade goes. With the free play going on? Absolutely. A couple more classics, Qbert and Frogger. I'll play these all day. Oh, I haven't seen a Gyrus in a long time. The controls on this one, you have to like swirl it around because you're going around the screen. Great setup here, including Cheyenne, Crossbow. I played a lot of Crossbow, and I've literally have never seen Chiller in the arcade. I've never seen the Chiller arcade game. That's great to see this in real life. I've never seen one of these before. Tons of pinball down the way. Tons of pinball down this way. The Walking Dead died. Just killed over. It's done. Personal favorite of mine with Tapper. They even put it up higher. It's funny because they have a little bar, like a little footrest bar stool down here. And then your controls are literal taps as you're feeding it down the way. I played me a ton of Stun Runner. You know, they had this on the Atari Lynx. It was the only reason I wanted a Lynx was just because it had this game. But I liked the sit down version of it. It's like you're like writing it, you know? The game is called Cliffhanger, but you can't fool me. I know what this game is. It says Cliffhanger, but come on. Ropen Sansei. Another classic row here with uh, Dragon's Lair Space Ace. I love the arcade cabinet for Mappy. Just a fun arcade cabinet to have. <laughs> That's right. More classics down the way, too, oh, including a multi cab. Fun to see. Oh, I wonder if they, have, if they had Professor Pac Man. I don't think they do. If they would, it would probably would have been over here. Yeah. Nice. And then more pinball down the way, too. Again, just tons and tons of non stop deliciousness. Including Wonder Boy. The arcade cabinet for Wonder Boy. Ninja Gaiden. This is the one, you the jump button, you can jump with that button on top. The first time I ever played Tetris was on an arcade machine just like this one. We got Zero Wing, remember, you know, Zero Wing, all our basement ball into us, come on now. Oh my, oh my. In my day, I was a DDR wizard. A little hard to keep up now, but pretty fun. Oh, I see a Cadash cabinet over there, look at this. More arcade machines down the way, including Cadash. Look at this. Played Knights of the Round. Dude, this place has all, all of them. Here we go. Especially, we'll get back with NBA Jam, Power Stone, the arcade machine. Another uh, Japanese arcade machine here with Groove Coaster. And then all the uh, fighting games over here doing nicely done. Let's see what's around the corner here. I see Time Crisis. I see more gun games. Here's more interactive experiences with guns and driving and oh, LA Machine Guns, that was a fun one. I played a lot of that at uh, GameWorks. Oh, got WrestleMania the arcade game back here. Oh, on one side we had Power Stone, here you have Power Stone too, that's cool. Is that a Transformers? I mean, dude. Some of the fun ones over here too. Yep, more of these Japanese music games. I love them, love to see them. And then, oh, they got a virtual on arcade, dude. Oh my God. The virtual on arcade machine. How fun is that, two player? I'll just, I'll do, just play that for an hour. There we go. That's the right. More of them down the way too. You can, you can, oh, they got Hook. The Hook beat em up. That's right, they made a Hook beat em up. This is a, uh, this is an import machine. This game never came out in America officially, I don't think. I think this is like a European exclusive or a Japanese exclusive or something like that. Do you mind? I'm trying to do a video. Good Lord. I wouldn't not talk about Bucky O'Hare. Come on. Yeah, there's Bucky O'Hare, Turtles in Time. These are your uh, kind of beat em ups, including Ninja Baseball Batman. Even got G.I. Joe. You know, he's the real American hero. You know, I was thinking about it too, it's like, I bet this place doesn't have the Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Guess what? This place has the Cowboys of Moo Mesa. If you have the Cowboys of Moo Mesa, you got everything, man. And this place, man, it has just about damn near everything. So many cool things, like Time Pilot, so many, like, like this? Man, I haven't seen a tube in the arcade in for freaking ever. Look at this. Look at those controls. I loved it when Sega would do things on their cabinet like this for Alien Syndrome, such a fun game. Now I'm coming back through on the other side, I think I'm going back in time now, because over there, a little bit more modern over here, we'll go back to the player's choice. We got arm wrestling from Nintendo. Here's a Nintendo property that never came out to home consoles, the arm wrestling game. It could have, it should have, because it just uses the joystick anyway. I could have seen this on the uh, NES or maybe even the Super Nintendo. It would have been NES back then. Oh, I played a lot of Zoo Keeper when I was growing up. Big fan of this game. So many great machines here. I cannot get over how amazing this place is. Like Championship, those are the rings you keep hearing in the background. 
You keep hearing that in the background. That's the one to play. Monkey Ball, and if you know the arcade machine, I know you're gonna ask the question. The answer is they do. Have the banana joystick. Here's your joystick, it's a banana. A few more arcade machines back down the way here too. I did not know Bonk's Adventure was an arcade machine. I did not know they made Bonk's Adventure for the arcade. From Kaneko, interesting. That's, I did not know that. Oh, Mr. Do is a favorite too. If they had Mr. Do's Wild Wide, that'd be cool. You know, they have Pac-Land, and you don't think about it, there's no joystick on Pac-Land. It's just hitting the buttons of which way you want to go, and then the jump button. They, they even have Baby Pac-Man, and Baby Pac-Man is part arcade machine, part pinball. These are just kind of fun. Just push the button when it shows up, you know, on the timing and all that. More uh, little mini cabs over here. Oh, we even got the arcade one up over there. That's kind of fun. What else we got around the corner here? Gonna find new games around all the corners. Always, always. Now, Willow, this arcade version is the version we should have got on the NES. This is the version we should have got on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just can't get over. Black Tiger, a favorite. Magic Sword, a favorite. Ghouls and Ghosts. Contra, the arcade version, Tempest, Karate Champ with the joysticks, I love it. Altered Beast, absolutely. Another favorite of mine, Food Fight, Road Blasters, and Marble Madness, the arcade version. A little rollerball on there too, that's how you how you play it in the arcade, gives you the momentum you need. As well as stuff like, you know, Bubble Bobble and all that. Just when I thought I was done, there's a whole nother room over here full of more pinball and stuff. Let's have a look inside, including the act. Okay. But yeah, this guy, Zeke's Peak, and then more pinball down the way. Even more pinball down this way. Oh, World Cup Soccer. I love that one. It's one of my favorites. Always want to see the Super Mario Brothers pinball machine as well. That's right. Oh, man, I love it. All right, got Popeye as well. Now, these are like, I like this generation of pinball. This is about the generation of pinball I like the most, I think including No Fear, including Pinball. I don't think I've ever played Dirty Harry, but it looks like the kind of game I'd like. It looks like the one I'd like. I like, see I like those ones that have like the, like the tunnels and stuff. I don't, I'm not sure there's a better word for them. It's not turned on right now, but this Royal Rumble one has some awesome artwork, including some of your favorite wrestlers there. Here's a Vince McMahon and Bobby Heenan down here. Find these little figurine wrestlers on the side as well, like Typhoon, and there's Earthquake right there. Is that Greg Valentine, I think? Oh, look at this big boss man. We got the Road Warriors, Legion of Doom. Here he is, tough guy. Did I know there's a Street Fighter II pinball machine? I don't think I did. Maybe I did, I don't remember. I don't think so. That looks super cool though. Like how old school this one is. Super old school on that one. Now this looks like a repair room back here, but tell me more about Punky Doodle by Sunsoft. More of the old school pinball down the way as well. You got Dolly. Good old Dolly. Dolly got her own pinball machine. Of course she did. Of course she did. And then one more pinball way down the way here too. Including this one here. Look at this. Catacomb. Catacomb looks interesting. It has like, I don't know. I loved it in the 80s when everything was like supposed to be super futuristic. I don't know if this is 80s or not. Might be a late 70s or something. And you're saying like some of these are for sale too? All of them are for sale for the right price. All of them are for sale for the right price. Well, I'm gonna come back. And that's all the info you need. You gotta be here. Game Galaxy, huh? They have everything. Everything, everything, everything. Can't wait to be back.